Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Bravely Second. Let's just go ahead and continue. Last episode, we kind of just sh showed up in Caldisla, a little confused. Um, yeah, I don't know why we're in Caldisla. Let's see, do we have all of our? Okay, so we have all of our characters, jobs, peak, everything. Fair enough. I guess let's see what uh what's going on. Appar apparently, the king wants to see us. But man, I haven't seen Caldisla in a long while since last game, obviously. Caldisla, Land of Endings? What? This is where the last game began. How is this the ending? You see in the corner there, it's not burnt down, so the whole ominous thing clearly didn't happen. Where's Ringabel? So, this is the capital of the peaceful kingdom of Caldisla. Such a lovely city. Yeah. Where's Ringa? I know Adia wants to see Ring a Bell. I know for a fact. Is everything all right, sir? It's just strange. This is the capital of the country where I was born and raised. It's where I first met Anyas and everyone. So why... Why had I forgotten all about it until just now? It's true. It was what? missing. You too, Tiz? Two? Idiot, you mean... Yeah. It was like I'd forgotten everything. Ominous lighting that house on fire. Everything with Carl. And Owen! Oh, I only just remembered Owen now. Now that you mention it, I've read about Caldisla in countless books, but it's like there was a hole in my memory. What could this mean? So, you all fell victim as well. Ah, there's ring a bell. Alternus! What are you doing here? What am I doing? I'm the one who carried you out of the skyhold and to safety. That was you? I guess I should thank you for saving my life. Again. I would go to the very ends of the earth for you if you needed me, Idia. <laughs> right. Still, it never occurred to me that others might have been affected as I was. How could all of us have forgotten an entire nation for so long? As though our memories Tell had me. been sealed away. That bloody witch, Yoko, will pay. Yoko? Was that her? When last we met, this is what she said to me. Go to Kaldisla, the land of endings. Hmm. At the time, the name Kaldisla was entirely foreign to my ears. I imagine she must be somewhere even now, watching us with dark glee. You should hurry to the Grand Marshal's side. He and Pope Agnes will aid you. I will go to find my own answers. Oh, Alternus, are you sure you should go alone? You needn't worry about me. I will return to you. Be careful. Hmm. Okay, we got technically a whole new town to explore now, so, um, let's see. There's nothing crazy. Okay, let's just quickly give it a quick save. So I have three mil peak, but I want to save that because I want to buy three costumes. If we go, okay, it literally won't let us go out of Caldisla. Okay, fair enough. I guess we it wants us to do what, you know, this stuff. Let's see, is there anything? No, I was going to say, that's what I guessed. We kind of have everything, but now here's what interests me the most. Is there anything new in the weapon shop? Anything better? Wait, this... Okay, this... Hold on, the armor is better here. Buy one of these. Buy three of these. Ooh. Okay, let's see. Which one would be better? Let's buy three of those. Buy one of those. Let's buy one of those. Okay, these. Let's see, would these would these be any better? One of these would be good for Adia, I think. Okay. Oh, we do have things here. Okay, we have the knight's tunic. So we have a couple here. Okay, so I just looked at all the costumes. Actually, none of these are actually the ones that I. W I mean, I guess. Eh, okay, here. You know what? Let me go ahead and just uh, show you them. Why not, right? Um, okay, let me quickly pull up. I'll literally do this on camera here. I don't even care. 
Okay, can you guys see this? You guys are seeing this, right? I'm literally on the internet. Uh, okay, so the ones that we are seeing currently, we have the uh, Onion Knight garb for you. We have the Vestal garb for Magnolia. We have the Knight's tunic for Adia. And we have the Minstrel garb for Tiz. Honestly, none of those particularly um, tickle my fancy. So, let's get back to the game here. I don't think I'm going to buy any of those. Um, I actually might come back and buy... Um, like, the Vestal Garb one is cool. The Onion Knight moment... Yeah, we'll see. Uh, let me check out the other costumes and then we'll see from there. <laughs> if it isn't young Tiz, hero of Caldisla. It's been too long, your highness. That it has. Two whole years since you collapsed and were whisked off to Eternia. We worried about you, lad. It is good to see you back among us. This calls for a celebration. The savior of our kingdom. No, of our world has returned to us. Three cheers for Tiz! Huzzah! 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 Long live the king! Long live our savior! You're too kind. I wasn't expecting such a royal welcome. Amazing, sir. The soldiers love you and even the king depends on you. Today is truly a joyous day. We must prepare a great feast. Bring the finest meats and cheeses and... Oh! Tiz! Ia! Eagle! I hardly even recognized you. <clears throat> Junior Captain Eagle, uh, do you have something to report? You bet I do! Uh, I mean... Forgive me, Your Highness. I come bearing urgent news! Let us hear it, my boy. There have been sightings of a great beast at Lantano Villa to the north, sire. Uh, what's that you say? A great beast? We wanna... Uh, I mean, the Youth Brigade would be honored to investigate for our king. We request permission to set out at once. Hmm... Wait! Your Highness. Hmm? You object to this, Tiz? We'll go investigate the rumors. Listen, Ego. The Captain of the Guard doesn't go looking for foes to conquer. It's not his job to rack up heroic deeds. His job is to keep his men in order. That they can protect the King and the people. But... but... Yes, our Captain Owen, may his soul rest in peace, was just as you say. He fought against his own urges to seek battle and glory, that he might better protect the castle and his countrymen. Junior Captain Eagle, leave this task to Tiz. Surely the hero of Norende can handle it. Let us focus our energies on defending this fair city, for it is a duty that captains and kings both share. Your Highness. Okay. That's his! Eagle! Why, oh, look how you've grown! Tiz, would you care to introduce us? Of course, this is Eagle. He's like, um, a little brother to me. A little... brother. We met him in Eisenberg, in the mines. There was, well, there were a lot of things. Long story short, we ended up bringing him to live here in Caldisla. And now you're Junior Captain of the Guards. He must have worked hard the past two years. <laughs> That's quite the accomplishment. I'm you, Eugenie Olja. You's a captain of sorts, too. He leads the Crystal Guard's own three cavaliers. The leader of the three cavaliers? That's... that's... amazing! You must be, like, the best of the best! So, 
Why are you hanging out with someone like Tiz here? <laughs> as smart mouth as ever, I see. He's a good friend of ours. I guess you could say he's like a slightly older, younger brother. <sighs> Tiz, is anyone not like a brother to you? Junior Captain! The city garrison needs to be put through its paces. Yes, sir. I'm on my way. <laughs> Good luck to you, Junior Captain. Thanks. You guys take care too, okay? Well, I guess that cinches it. Let's go look into that monster. Montano Villa lies up to the north. I'll mark our map. We have to get to the bottom of this. Well, I'm glad we came back to Caldisla. Honestly, I didn't want to mention it for a long time, but I was very confused on just where Caldisla was. You guys saw it. It was in an earlier episode, like like third or fourth, where I saw the map and I compared them to Bravely Default's map, and I was like, everything lines up. Where's Caldisla? That makes sense now. Caldisla, land of questions. Huh, what's wrong, Adia? You're asking me. Look at these two and then ask me again. They're bouncing up and down like puppies wanting to ask you questions. <sighs> I didn't think you meant it literally. Alright, then ask away. Why are you on such familiar terms with the king? Well, the village where I was born and raised in Rende, it's near here, or it was until it fell into the great chasm. I was completely lost when that happened, but the king was kind to me, looked after me. Jeez, Tiz, there you go again, acting all humble again. Back when Tiz was completely lost, Caldisla also happened to be under attack from Eternia. Tiz and Agnes, who'd met at the Great Chasm, helped fight them off, with a little help from yours truly, after I defected. His Highness let me head up the rebuilding of Narende and allowed us to take the Eternian airship. We owe him so much. It's amazing. What about that boy, Eagle, you said? Uh, Eagle was an orphan of the civil war that ravaged Aizen. He was forced to work as a canary boy in the mines there, and you and your friends rescued him from that fate? That's right. We took him to live with Carl, the innkeep you met not too long ago. Carl had lost his only son during the duchy's attack. He was really down on his luck, but I think having Eagle around helped him get back to his feet. And the king let Eagle start studying at the castle, training to be a knight someday. What a lovely tale. You hail from a country of such wonderful people. I know. So how did I forget a place that was so important to me? I know, I feel the same way. Perhaps this monster at Latano Villa has something to do with it. You're right, let's track it down and find some answers. I'm done. What? What's that? It's... It's the Rub-A-Dub! Finally! Splish Splash, it's time for a bath! We got the flying ship back, you love to see it. The grave site, right? Anything? Are you not Tizorio? Are you one of the... Welcome home. Yeah, this is where Tiz fell originally. Grave. Yeah. It belongs to my little brother, too. I'm sorry, sir. I didn't know. Till was a lot younger than me. Even younger than you. I lost him to the Great Chasm. On that day, life as I knew it ended. Till he... I tried to hold on to him. But he wouldn't take my hand. He didn't want to drag me down. If only we had realized sooner. If only we had known that... Enough, Tiz. Don't... Sorry. You're right. <sighs> and yet, I'd forgotten his face until now. How could I forget my own brother? It just doesn't make sense. We all did. And we're going to find out why. Yeah, okay, so I straight up didn't know there was going to be a scene there, but I'm glad I did. Real quickly, we have a new job that we didn't look at. The Kaiser, dominate with... Ver Let's see, what is this? Okay, so I'm actually not going to change her to this, partly just because these are very good moves, but... If I really think about it, they're even outclass now, like, this is amazing, right? But Tiz just does a better job of this, and then... All of this stuff, that's cool, but I don't think it's any better than free lunch and then the amped strikes, honestly, so 
But as far as I'm concerned, I think I'm good. Miss Sakura, you're all right. I was out collecting the laundry when that pillar of light suddenly appeared. I don't remember precisely what happened, but the rub-a-dub started spinning and spinning like bathwater going down a drain. The next thing I knew, we were plunked down right in the middle of the ocean. It took more than a week to fix all the damage done to the baths and the boiler. This is the first time we've seen land since the whole disaster began. Oh, la vache. Talk about survival skills. You've been through quite the ordeal. We'll take over from here, so you just take it easy. Take it easy? This is no time to take anything easy. On our way here, we came across the biggest school of fish I've ever seen. Did you say fish? Our tanks are fit to burst with delights of the sea. I've already begun preparing the sashimi boats and writing up the menus. Tonight, we'll be serving the bathhouse's super deluxe seafood banquet. <laughs> I knew we saved the world for a reason. For the food. Okay, party chat. Just mix and serve. God, how many times do I have to tell you, Magnolia? You're the one who seems incapable of learning Adia, not me. So Adia and Magnolia were fighting and you decided to jump in as a mediator, you? Seems that way. Am I the only and and the only one ended up with the two of them taking out their anger on you next? I'm afraid so, sir. What in the world caused this fight anyway? Or do you remember the strawberry whipped cream custard with sweet bean filled wafers? I heard Adia and Agnes once fought over the merits of custard with strawberry whipped cream versus sweet bean filled wafers. Oh, that. I heard that you combined the two to make strawberry whipped cream custard with sweet bean filled wafers. Since that ended the argument last time, I thought I might do the same. I see, and what were these two fighting over this time? Breakfast. We were debating what would be the ultimate meal to wake up to. And so you, in an effort to appease the two, you made this? Exactly, a scrambled egg, oatmeal, bacon, yogurt, banana, sausage, and hollandaise soft smoothie? Uh, you, I think I'd be mad too. Yeah, sounds nasty, not gonna lie. Alright, are we all healed up? Looks like we're all healed up, so we don't need to go into the baths. Let's grab the helm. Okay, so we're here in Al Campus. There should be quite a few costumes in here now. Yeah, after Chapter 6, all the costumes kind of pop up. So if we go here, yes, we have the Scholar, Eastern... And then we have the Bonsoir Bunny and the Bravo Bunny. So, let's see. I know the Bonsoir is for Magnolia. Okay, so I think I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to buy the Eastern War Garb. Okay, and then the other two that I want are in Gathladio. So, that is where we head to next. So, I could get one more costume for Adia. But yes, this is what I want. So now I want the Chompette coat. Oh wait, is this the one? This is for Adia. Okay, so I want the Chompette coat here for sure. And then I think I want... Okay, and then now, what's the pl what is the plain one? Okay guys, I honestly think... Hmm, let me go get one more mill. I have to get one more mill. Um, because I want... To buy one more outfit so let me quickly do this party chat and then i'm gonna go back to the crypts funny enough and i'm gonna grind for a... shouldn't take that long good as gravy what's the matter you i was just thinking about the family crypt it's deep below gath lady all right but there was a breeze blowing the whole time while we were inside even though there was only one exit and no windows you thought it was the breath but the, the breath, the cries of the dead? Right, it seems strange, so I asked Alfred about it, and he said there might be a passage. A passage? Yes, running from the deepest part of the mausoleum right to the sanctum. What, you mean we could have taken a shortcut? It was a real slog getting down there. It makes sense, now that I think about it, Lord Foundar was such a key figure in orthodoxy even after his death. They probably dug out a tunnel when they built the mausoleum. Right, the way the church bigwigs could pay their respects to the great men whenever they wanted. I wish we'd known about this before we made our epic journey to the depths. Tell me about it. Still, no harm, no fall, right? We made it through in one piece. Just don't ask me to do it again. What do you mean? Now that we know about the passage, why not go again? We're adventurers, aren't we? Actually, I'd rather we didn't go blundering around the family crypts anymore than we have to. 
well, I'm actually gonna have to go down there again. Okay, everybody. So, um, I did a little bit of grinding. You could see here I have um, a little over a million pig here. Now, if we go to this shop, I want to buy. So this is the one for Magnolia. Yes. I want that for Magnolia because Adia has her outfit. Okay, so let's go through each one of these and basically tell you guys why I picked them. Um, so, for um, you, I wanted the United Garb because I just... I think this is just an upgraded version of his uh, normal skin. I think his normal skin just looks a bit weird. I just don't really like it. This is sick. Um, for Tiz, uh, I did this one just because, I don't know, it, it's his most unique skin, I guess, and it's a little bit less showy than the washcloth. You know, it's uh, it just gives him a little bit of style. And, you know, his, you know, his freelance one doesn't look terrible either. But I'm just gonna put that one on him and make him look like, you know, like an angel or something. Um, for Adia, you guys know why I picked this one. This is just, this is just cute, like, ooh. Who would not choose this one for Adia? And then the last one for Magnolia. Um, yeah, this is... I, I looked at all of her skins and not not a lot of them are just like crazy cool. I guess I could get the Research Lab Coat. That one would be a little cool, but whatever. I just got this one, so I'm going to go ahead and stick with this one just for now. It's a skin. It is what it is. Um, yeah, and I, I think those are overall, I think, the best skins for everyone. But maybe we'll leave these on for the side quests and for the final. Maybe we'll put on the freelance garbs again. Um, but either way, uh, let's go ahead and check on the moon one more time here. I think we're nearly done with the moon. We've just got a couple left. Oop, I got out of the moon. So this one is one from being max. So let's go ahead and uh, put, that's a four hour one. This one's in the works of being in max. And okay, so literally this is the last one here. Put everyone we have. So once these are all done, every oh, we need some people on here. I was gonna say once all these are done, we're actually maxed out on the moon. So that's kind of cool. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, move my cursor. Let's grab our ship. I think we're all healed, right? Okay, we're all healed. Then let's go ahead and head over to Gathladio. And we'll go ahead and continue with our side quest. But we will do that next episode, guys. Thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to like and comment on the channel. And I will see you guys later. God bless and goodbye.